back from the dead. This is difficult for me. What's up, guys? It's Minnesota Lumberjack in here. Today we're playing Fallout 4, the part 7. I gotta go meet with Father. I'm not gonna call him Father. I'm gonna call him my son. I gotta go meet with him. Dude, I just, like, the funny thing is, like, since I'm not on the side of the railroad? I was able just like to murder the railroad. Uh, sorry, Ray, I had to do it. Oh, they brother. Everybody was just murdered in here. Yeah, there it. We are in the CIT ruins. That's where I'm supposed to go meet my son. Yes, yeah. Uh oh. Oh, so now I have a sense against with me against these fat super mutants. <laughs> awesome, I love that. That's Whoa, they are just destroying these synths. Super mutants. Come on guys, I'm gonna help. I gotcha. Get out of here. Get out of here. Die. Die. Yeah, I'll get wrecked, son. Don't know, maybe destroy some sins up in here. There's to go. Commonwealth Institute of Technology. What am I doing? Oh, this is so beautiful up here. So beautiful. Son, you know. Son. In all my years, I've never set foot outside the Institute. Not oh. once. Since the day they brought me here. I've never had a reason, but now, this just confirms the truth I've always known. The Commonwealth is dead. There's no future here. The only hope for humanity lies below. So why come out here? To put things in perspective, I suppose. Standing here. I'm reminded of how fortunate I am that I was spared a life in this wasteland. I know that to you I was kidnapped from that vault. In truth, the Institute rescued me. Both of us, really. They left me on ice for 60 years. They did. And for good reason. I was the perfect candidate. An infant with uncorrupted DNA. But if something were to go wrong, if I died, well, the Institute realized a contingency plan was prudent. Another source of pre-war DNA, preferably related to their primary subject. It only made sense that my parents should fill that role. So you were kept alive and safe within the vault. I'll admit, when I had you released from Vault 111, I had no expectations that you'd survive out here in all this. 
to not only do so, but manage to find me. To infiltrate the Institute itself. Extraordinary. So it was you. You let me out. Yes. It was my decision. Certainly it was no longer necessary to keep you suspended. I... Well, I suppose I wanted to see what would happen. An experiment of sorts. I had no idea what kind of man you were, you see. Would the Commonwealth corrupt you? As it has everything else. Would you even survive? Perhaps most curious to me. Would you... After all this time... Attempt to find me? And now I know the answer. Sean, you need to know. I still love you. I can see that you do. It's... Well, it's remarkable. <clears throat> there are greater things to come after your success at Bunker Hill. The synths have been safely returned and will be repurposed. Thank you for your work. I hope you weren't at too much risk. It was a job that needed doing. Yes. But it was also a job that you needed to be aware of. The railroad remains an annoyance, of course. But they'll be dealt with as necessary. And you, well, you've passed the test, as they say. You have done well. Please, take this as a token of my appreciation. Our appreciation, really. Ooh. It's time for you to become more involved in the future of the Institute. I'd like you to join me inside. The Directorate is meeting, and you should be there. I'll be waiting. I've seen enough. It's time to go back in. Well, I'm gonna be the stama beast. I'm a almost low at four. Well, nice work bringing me to the city. Let's get this directorate meeting over with before we speak further. It's... Well, it's important. I feel special. The only one I'll play is... <laughs> like, every, like... You're weird. Good, we're all here. I think it's time we begin. Sir, excuse me, but what exactly is he doing here? I will address Okay. This, but there are other subjects that require our attention first. I see. The level of unrest in the Commonwealth continues to rise, as you. we're all aware. Your report. All Institute facilities remain completely secure, with the exception of one notable breach. I Otherwise, think women were allowed things are as tight as they've ever been. Be Dr. Ayo was even in the afterworld. Topside. Yes. Um, watchers show no additional threats beyond those previously identified. We're still monitoring the increased activity toward independence, but there are no immediate signs we should be concerned. Said that. Said that. Boston International Airport remains occupied. Said that. With Brotherhood presence <laughs> noted at several other points throughout the country. Spray <laughs> suggest that this Spray railroad road continues to operate and is becoming more. Ambitious. SRB agents are monitoring all known situations, sir. Very good, thank you. It's clear that our safety needs to be the primary concern going forward. To that end, where are we on phase three? Uh, sir, are you sure this is the time to be discussing it? Given, well, considering all parties present? Ah, yes, that's true. Have you heard anything about phase three? I have no idea what that is. I'll admit I'm relieved. It's intended to be something of a classified project, which I'm sure means everyone already knows about it. Power is, as I'm sure you've seen above ground, a very valuable commodity. I'm not talking about some abstract concept of control. I mean real, tangible power. 
the kind that keeps the lights on. With every advance the Institute makes, the need for raw power increases. Many compromises and sacrifices have been made over the years to allow progress to continue. What kind of compromises? We have at times had to rely on drawing power from above ground installations. It risks personnel and equipment, but no longer. Phase three is simply the activation of a nuclear reactor that can provide enough power to the Institute now and forever. It will ensure not just our survival, but our prosperity. Can you tell me more about this reactor? Certainly. It was originally built for the Commonwealth Institute of Technology before the war, but was only for testing. Over the years, we've advanced the technology, made a great many improvements, and are finally nearly ready to activate it. The reactor is close to ready, but recent tests have determined we have a few tasks ahead of us. Thus, we come to phase three, and to how you will help. Sir? Yes, Dr. Ayo. Previously, we would rely on Kellogg for above-ground operations, yet... Well, he is gone. While I'm not overly fond of putting my own father in harm's way, he has proven more than capable of handling himself. Uh, y yes but... This is not a matter for debate. Now, there is one more subject that requires discussion. I don't know that this is the time. Dr. Holdren, it is time. Please. As I'm sure several of you are already aware, I have been under Dr. Volkert's care for some time. I'm sorry, this is difficult for me. Our best efforts have failed. Experimental treatment we could devise has been unsuccessful. I'm... I'm sorry to say I am dying. No! Please, everyone, please, I am sorry. This is not how I wanted to tell you, but we're running out of time. No. You're dying? I'm afraid so. A very aggressive form of cancer. Believe me when I say we've done everything we can. We can talk more later. Right now, the future oh. of the Institute is at stake. The Institute cannot survive without leadership. The Directorate must continue to govern with the best interest of all in mind. To that end, I am naming my father as my successor. Yeah! Oh, boy. You can't... Really? Seems a poor choice. How can Whoa. you possibly justify this? He isn't one of us. He isn't even a scientist. Ignoring your borderline, insubordinate tone, I will simply say this. The Institute has enough scientists. What it needs is a leader. I believe my father has already proven himself more than capable in that regard. This will conclude this meeting. Thank you. No. He's doing some amazing things with our genetically engineered crops. It's what? my responsibility to make sure this place runs smoothly. Oh, you know what? For you, father, I'm going to change my outfit. I did this for you, Father. I love you. <laughs> this truly is a wonderful place, isn't it? I had no idea. I know this is... Well, it's a lot to take in at once. I'm sorry, Father. I hope it wasn't too presumptuous of me to put you in charge without even asking first. I can do the job. Of course you can. That's why I made the decision. There's no question that some of the Directorate a and the Institute at large will need reassurances about your appointment. That's why I'd like you to take charge of this latest operation. Dr. Fillmore can fill you in on the details. There are hard decisions ahead for all of us, but for you especially. I know that you'll do the right thing. I love you.
Level up. Why? Why have you forsaken me? You have forsaken me. You have. If you enjoy, please destroy that like button. Also, check out my other channel, Five Seven Productions. And thank you for watching. Also, subscribe to that beard. Have an amazing day. Back, back, back from the dead.